In the world of hip hop and unsolved mysteries, one name stands out to me, Keefe D. Now in this video, we're deep diving into Keefe D, the man who the world claims is responsible for Tupac Shakur dying. It's so bad that Keefe D said that Tupac Shakur was break dancing just moments before his tragic shooting. It looked like, uh, yeah, he was trying to jump in the back seat or something. He was like break dancing or some shit. It looked like, uh, yeah, he was trying to jump in the back seat or something. He was like break dancing or some shit. Now, this story has left all of us wondering who was Keefe D and what part did he play in Tupac Shakur's passing. Now, Keefe D dropped a bombshell when he claimed that Tupac was breakdancing when he got shot. Now, was this a good taunt or was this information just what the Las Vegas Police Department needed to actually get him indicted? So long story short, Keefe D, damn near 27 years ago, him, Orlando Anderson, and two more people in the car shot Tupac Shakur. Everybody knows that. Everybody wanted to know this proffer agreement that Keefe D was allegedly given. So basically, Keefe D got off scot-free until the investigation of Biggie Smalls was reopened in mid-2000s, which ultimately led to the re-examination of Tupac's case. Now, during the investigation, Keefe D cooperated with the authorities. He was given a proffer agreement, meaning that he could not be charged with the crime based on any incriminating statements during this particular investigation during this particular interview that he gave back in 2009. After that, like I said, he was given a proper agreement, not an immunity, a proper agreement. Right after that, Keefe D released the book and he gave up too much information and he pretty much implicated himself in that Tupac shooting. Now he wasn't granted a complete immunity. He was only granted the immunity that the interview he did with Greg Caden was during the investigation for the LAPD and the Biggie and Tupac's murders. It was a queen for a day agreement. Now my understanding is that they couldn't use his words against him in the future for those specific meetings with Caden but he couldn't go around bragging or admitting to the crime publicly after that. That's where Keefe D messed up. Now in his book, Keefe D said this, he says, I sang because they promised I would not be prosecuted. Now Greg Caden, who actually gave the interview to Keefe D, he speaks out about the proffer and how pretty much Keefe D was on a clock to get arrested again. And he was still running around giving interviews, getting paid for interviews and going about it like that. And the proper agreement was just that he could not be prosecuted by any incriminating statements that he made to you, correct? 100%. They are absolutely not protected by our proper agreement. The only statements that are protected by our proper agreement is when he sat down with us. If anything he says outside of that, are his own self-incriminating statements. Now, everybody want to see the indictment for Keefe D. Here it is right here, you guys. Now it says, it says the defendant above Dwayne Keefe Davis accused by the Clark County grand jury of the crimes of murder with the use of a deadly weapon with the intent to promote further or assist a criminal gang. Now what that basically means is it's a gang enhancement. So just long story short, it intensifies his charges because they did it for the South Side Crips. And in this indictment, it shows the people were in the car and it says that Keefe D pretty much provided the weapon and he gave the say so because he was quote unquote a shot caller between those four in the South Side Crips. Everybody want to know, everybody's pointing fingers saying who was responsible for Keefe D actually getting jammed up. Some people say it was himself, some people say it was Diddy, some people are saying it was Vlad or just other interview platforms. Now WAC 100, who I like to say is connected at least in the industry on the West Coast, he was on Clubhouse and he's saying a completely different story. Vlad said that he never gave any information to the Las Vegas Police Department, but according to WAC 100, he's saying that Vlad is talking. Listen. Man, I told you they was gonna pick KVD up. He gonna sit in there, he gonna try to tell on Puff to get out of jail, it ain't gonna work. That's what we said, we they said, gonna, uh, yeah, he gonna yeah, try I mean, to bring, hey, man, Puff, bring that up. He, he gonna try to tell on Puff to get out of jail, it ain't gonna work, cause unless he got, you know, it was always a buffer between them. And the buffer dead. He never really dealt directly with Puff. It was somebody between them. 
But even with Keith D, I think if we go to trial, he's gonna beat it. The nigga, the nigga Vlad was working directly, and he and cooperated. He, he, he said he did not. Hey. <laughs> and and he listen, cooperated. Bro, this you crazy. already gave him the fucking tape. Hey, you already put the rock you are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, rock star. yeah, bro. I don't know how these niggas play. Yeah. But I play how you supposed to play. Mm. He cooperated. Cause they, they gotta prove he wasn't just lying. Cause he gonna say, I got paid to say these things. That's he gonna say. Damn, Rock was just saying. And, <laughs> That's crazy. Cause he got immunity from who he told the truth to in LA. They can't call him to testify cause of the immunity. They would be the only ones that can say, nah, he admitted woo to woo, but they can't do it because of the immunity deal. Okay, I got homies with badges from my neighborhood. We need them in there. I don't know about these other niggas. They can talk the dumb shit. They talk, that's cool. Flag was working with the police. They paid the nigga KVD for his interviews and all that. The nigga whole question was designed for the police. Mm. This is a fact. Mm-hmm. Shit. Yo, I think I told you that. Damn. What you guys think? Me personally, I don't know. I highly doubt Vlad would do it. That messes up his business at the end of the day. Remember, people come to Vlad and give interviews and give precise information and a lot of detailing information about their past, criminal history and things like that. It would be bad and would mess up Vlad's money if the word came back that he's giving out information to the police department, which he doesn't have to do. Now, it's been 27 years. Tupac's friends and family spoke out, his brother, his sister, and also his little lady, Jada Pickett. Now, if you guys don't know, Jada Pickett rides or dies for Tupac. But the sister said this. She said this on her Instagram with the picture. She says, this is no doubt a pivotal moment. The silence of the past 27 years surrounding this case has spoken loudly in our community. It is important to me that the world, the country, the justice system, and our people acknowledge the gravity of the passing of this man, my brother, my mother's son, my father's son, his life and death matters and should not go unsolved or unrecognized. So yes, today is a victory, but I will reserve judgment until all of the facts and legal proceedings are complete. There have been multiple hands involved and there remains so much surrounding the life and death of my brother Tupac and our Shakur family overall. We are seeking real justice on all fourths. Now Tupac's brother, Mo Preen Shakur, he went to his page and he did a little mini interview and he said this. Your initial reaction to Keefe D being arrested is bittersweet. It's bittersweet for a, a, a number of reasons. Uh, the, the time, of course, 27 years. Mm-hmm. And um, it didn't have to be this way. You know, it didn't have to happen at all. You know, I hate, you even have to live with the reality that I, my brother's not here. Exactly. You know, so. so what does justice look like for you and your family? I mean, uh, justice is uh, accountability. That's the, the, the sweet part. It's, it's bittersweet, but, uh, you know, some form of accountability and um, brace. I'm bracing for, because it ain't over. Um, you know, we have yet to see, you know, we still got to see if there's accomplices. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we still got to see the motive. Has uh, the Vegas PD been in contact with you and your family at all during this investigation? Finally, yeah. Just now, or did they let you know? D- d- just recently, just recently. Okay. But the detective that did reach out, he has since retired. So okay, you know, that seems to be- Now Jada Pickett-Smith, she went to her Instagram page and she said that she says, now I hope we can get answers and have the same closure. 